Um, I've got two little ones, they're definitely under five minutes. Um, there's one very sweet one about a baby, and then there's an eerie one about some rocks. So, uh, if you can see, or kind of cold, then you either way. Uh, sing, little one. Sing a song, little one. Anything will do. Sing of gardens or slums, doll cues, crystals or shipping lanes. We just want to remember what it was like to have something of which to sing. Take your guitar. We will hold it for you. Make some sound. Where's my line gone? <laughs> we want to remember that we were born. And though the event itself is full of screams and amniotic fluid, it means that life is made of flesh and happening. That our minds are not trapped in the wires, that we are more than the clothes we wear. Because for a moment we were lifted naked by the midwife who swaddled us as our eyes opened to the baffling universe. We want to know that we can scream, and people will respond if they know us or not. We hope that bringing you here was not a sin. Let us know. Sing. And this one's about some rocks, very dear to us in the West Country. Um, I'm going to them on Sunday. Stonehenge. Yeah. Some good rocks. <laughs> Perhaps you are proud we are here, but we are not. Your shapes and arrangements mean nothing to us, and even you have forgotten why you put us here. Dragged us from Wales, you say, but we do not acknowledge your names. You build monuments to yourselves, but while we remain, those that built us are forgotten, their flesh gone. We respect only their bones. Perhaps you think you've helped by hewing us out of the place where we were left by the world's secret workings, pushed up from where our mother magma formed us. You took us to the open air where you can see us, but we perceive no difference. All the outside brings is lichen with its tiny toy empires on our surfaces. Now you put a fence around us, print postcards, bring tourists, define yourselves by us. We take no meaning from you. If we stand, as you call it, standing stones, it is with no purpose. Some say we are a tool to mark the time. Well, here is our prediction. We will be standing long after you. Though we are not immortal, we may as well be compared with you. But when the arc of our corrosion is complete, we will meet you in the earth. And when you have learned that there are no lessons, then we can converse. <laughs>